All right, so today I'm going to do Bracky's Challenge and try to make a game in 10 minutes. Um, I'm going to make a racing game. Uh, let's see how it goes. All right, so first thing we're going to do is create a floor. So that's going to be a big plane. I'm going to scale that up to 100 by 100. Um, and we are also going to create a material. So this is going to be the ground. Um, I like to use the unlit materials um, for a simple project like this because it looks a bit better with less detail, I think. Um, I'm also going to duplicate this because we're going to have a few other materials later. We're going to have a car material and we're going to have a wheel material. And we are also going to have an obstacle material. Um, and the obstacles, I think, are going to be uh, like a, a light grey. The wheels are going to be black and the car, what's your favourite colour for a car? I like red, so I'm going to go for red, uh, that's cool. Um, right, so the ground, uh, let's give the material um, here, oh, let's open that. Set the material on the ground and let's set up our camera so we can see what's going on. So let's just go, let's raise it pointing that way. We can have a top down camera, sort of like micro machines, something like that. Um, so point it down and I'm going to bring it up a little bit. It's a bit hard to see where everything is now because there's no point of reference. So, what do we need? A car. Uh, perfect for a quick Unity project, it's going to be a cube car. Um, I'm also going to create an empty object to put all of the car things in. So let's just reset these. Um, oh, that's my car. This is going to be the body of the car. Um, so let's get that a bit. Uh, let's move the car up first a bit out of the ground. And now the body, we want to make it a bit shorter like that like that i think and then let's put the car make it red so that should be fine we're actually going to take the collider off um, and what we're going to do is going to add another object which is going to be a sphere and we're going to use this for the collision so let's name that collision we want it to be a bit bigger than the car or oh, the width of the car it's probably a tiny bit short that's about right um, we're going to hide the mesh and then last, we want to add a rigid body to the car. We're going to put some constraints on it. So we don't want it to rotate uh, your or pitch. We just want to rotate around the Y axis. So we're going to freeze the other two. And it can move up and down in any direction. We also want to change the drag and put one for both of those. So now this is the start of our car. We just need a script, don't we, to control it with. So let's create a new car script. Um, and then uh, edit script come on Visual Studio yes right so first we need to get our rigid body component so we're going to use that later um, if I can spell all this right that'd be great um, and we are going to every frame input dot get axis and this is going to be horizontal that's going to be our steering and then we also want acceleration so equals acceleration is going to be the vertical axis so that's going to be arrow keys or was basically now to rotate we're just going to rotate the whole object so we're going to transform dot rotate and we're going to do it around vector 3 dot down, down axis. And we're going to do the angle, which is going to be steer times time dot, dot delta time times steer factor. And that's going to be a value that we're going to set in the editor. So let's create a field for that. Public. And I think we're going to start that off quite high at 100. To do the acceleration, we're going to do RB rigid bodies or add force, and we're going to do transform dot forward as the direction, 
because it's always moving forward, that's what cars like to do, and we're going to multiply that by the acceleration value and by our speed value which we're going to create there and we're going to use force mode dot impulse because this is a force we don't need to multiply by delta time so let's just create our speed here that's actually going to be a float and it's going to be public and it's going to start off at one and we'll see how that does for us so with this all in place we should be able to drive the car and see if it works it turns around, it's quite quick isn't it? So maybe we can reduce the speed a bit there, but I think that's basically working. Um, we also want to get the camera to follow the car, so let's create a quick follow cam component. Create an ad, and then can we get this visual studio? Yes, all right, so first we want to store the offset um, and that's going to be the transform dot position minus the car dot position. We also need to have a public um, variable for the car, so we can set that. And this vector three offset uh, is what we're going to set. And then every frame we're going to use fixed update, so it's a nice smooth motion. We're going to set a new position, which is going to be the trans car dot position um, minus minus the offset I always forget if it's minus or plus I think that's alright though and then we're going to do to get a nice nice smooth motion we're going to do vector 3 dot alert um, uh, between transform the current position and the new position and we're going to use 0.1 as the alert value, so that should give us a nice smooth motion. Now let's see if this works. If we set our car in the object, it should follow at roughly the same um, angle that we start, at the same distance that we start at. Oh no, that's gone all over the shop, so I think it is probably going to be a plus here. I always get those wrong. Okay. So yeah, you can see it's keeping the car in view wherever we go. That's cool. So I think we need something else. Something else the car is missing. What is it missing? Wheels. We need wheels. So let's make some wheels. Um, we're going to use a quick cylinder for a wheel. We're going to rotate that 90 degrees. There we go. And we're going to make it a bit smaller there. Um, put that actually down here so we can get see it, sort of see it, and we're going to set the material on that to black, so it's a nice wheel color. And let's name this oh, wheel. We're also going to add a um, particle system, and we're going to have some skid marks because what is a wheel without skid marks? Um, we want to first move this down a bit, so it's at the bottom of the wheel. We're going to change a few of the default settings. So we're going to change the speed to zero. We're going to change the simulation space to world. We're going to disable the shape. We're going to add to the max particles because we want more than the default. And we're going to change the emission to rate over distance. We're also going to change quickly the renderer from the particle one to the default line because that's a bit more square. And we should see now if we quickly move that. No, no, okay. Is that going? Okay, well that should work. That's not emitting there, I'm not sure why. Let's just pretend it's working. Um, and we are going to, what do we do now? I've lost my train of thought. Oh no, we're running out of time. Um, we are going to add in our car, um, we're going to get the skids at the start. It was get component in children. So called system um, and then here we're gonna do we're gonna put the skids on when um, the uh, dot product between the forward of the car and the uh, velocity which is the direction it's traveling is less than 0.8 and this means that when the car is not facing forward 
um, it's going to produce skids. So when it's turning, um, skid dot uh, enabled equals skids on. And why is that? Uh, oh, get components. That should be a array. No, sorry, I put my brackets in the wrong place. That should be an array. Yes, okay. So now we've only got one wheel there. So let's quickly just duplicate that uh, a few times. So we've got four wheels. Uh, this is a pretty weird looking car. Let's see if we can line those up a bit better. That'll do. Okay. No, oh, no, we've got an error. Um, it's not a mission enabled. It is enable a mission. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Obviously, those particles are not quite right. Oh, I forgot we need to change the color. We'd have black skids. And we need to change the size to uh, 0.3. And then if we apply this, all those skids marks should change. Okay, that's cool, isn't it? The last thing we need, and I know I'm pretty much out of time, so this is going to be really quick, is we're going to need something to race around. So let's create a track. We're just going to make this out of spheres. Where's that gone? It's all the way underground. Here you go. No, it's spheres, not spheres. Walls, these dudes. Let me make some little wall track things. Okay, that's kind of alright. Let's, um, we made an obstacle material earlier, so let's apply that. And then we can, if we do like two like that, we can duplicate these. Around this place. We've got a few gaps, we're going to fill those in in a bit. Um, one more, I guess, here. That was a bit big, isn't it? So maybe we just quickly scale that down so it fits a bit better. Now we've got a few gaps, so we're just going to grab this guy and move him around a bit. I'll duplicate that a few times. A bit smaller, so he can go. Oh, he's gone up in the air a bit there. Oh no, what's going on? They're all over the shop. All right. So I think we're pretty much out of time, so we're just going to have a go at this. See how it goes. Those tracks are all over the place, but it's not too bad. Let's go. That's pretty cool, isn't it? All right. Thanks for watching. If you like this, check out my game that I'm working on, Yucatan. It's a cool arcade racing game. You can find a link on my YouTube description. Thanks very much.